This is part 150 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss including default content in content placeholder of a master page. A content placeholder in a master page can include default content. Let's understand this with an example. Let's first add a master page. Let's call it site.master. Notice that we get two content placeholders, one in the head section and another within the body section. Let's get rid of the content placeholder from the head section. And notice that at the moment, we don't have any default content within this content placeholder. But let's specify some default content. Let's say this is master page default content. Now, let's add a content page. And notice that we have got a content control inside the content page. Let's actually flip this to the design mode. Let's drag and drop maybe a button and a calendar control. Now, as you might expect, when we run this, this web form 1.aspx is going to display button and calendar control. Now, on the master page, we have some default content. That content is being overridden by this webform1.aspx. Now let's say we want this webform1 to default to the master page content instead of overriding it. If that's the case, all you need to do is right click on the content page and then select this option default to master's content. But before we do that, let's examine the source of this page. So if you look at the source, uh, within the content page, we have got this content control. And inside that, we have that button and calendar control. Now let's go back to the design mode. Let's now right click on this content placeholder. And then select this option, default to master's content. And look at this, we have got uh, an alert here. If you default to the master page content, everything in this region will be removed from the page. Do you want to continue, yes or no? So once we click yes, look at what's going to happen. So obviously, this web form here has default to the master page content. So if we go to the source mode, look at what's happening here. What happened to the content control? It's removed altogether. OK, so if you want the content page to default to the master page default content, then all we need to do is remove the content control from the content page. So obviously now, as you might expect, if we run this, what's going to happen? Instead of displaying button and calendar control, it's going to display the default master page content. Now, you may be wondering, where is this feature useful? In reality, your master page can include multiple content placeholders. And there may be one content placeholder you know, which is overridden only by one or two pages in your entire project. If that's the case, for that content placeholder, you can specify some default content which will be used by all the other pages. And only those two pages which wish to override the master default content, you know, they will include a content control and you know override it in the way they want to override it that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day